Soccer started uh, for Xander this Saturday, just gone. And it's all changed now that you're under eight. And they go to a bigger field, bigger goals. They get to have a goalie now. A restful position. Oh, so, so my um, friend's kids, they play at a really high level and they're the goalies. Mm. And I'm like, that's so hard because you're yeah. either the champion mm. or you completely lost the game Some for countries everyone. Like, that's what I was going to say. Xander had his heart set on goalie. And I thought no kid really wanted to be goalie. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that'll be sweet. But on Saturday we get there and another kid starts as goalie. And he's a weapon. Mm. Like, absolute weapon. He let one goal through in the first half. Saved, I reckon, about 12. Right. Like, he was unbelievable. All and even the parents the- are there cheering, getting into it, aren't they? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm like, too. woo! Because we lost a lot of games last year. Yeah. <laughs> when we finished yeah. and we're driving home, I said to Zan, I go... Mate, you know what? You're a really good runner. He goes, am I? I said, yeah. I said, you know, I think you you play your best as a runner on the field. That's, he goes, yeah, I think you're right, Dad. I don't want him to play goalie if mm. there's a really good goalie. And I know they're <laughs> only eight, but the kids want to win. I feel like the kids get really sad if they don't win. And at some point, mm. I'm not saying you don't let the kids play even. They all have a go on the field. But you got to go, hey, mate. That's not your position. Mm. I know you really want to, but that's just not what you're built for. Mm. I think maybe your skills are better used over here, mm. and I don't think we should be afraid to say to our children, you're not very good at that. It's like the parents that you, you watch the show and you go, oh, they should have told their kid that you're they You're talking sucked. about the singing ones? Yeah, yeah. on The Voice. Oh, yeah. Someone yeah. should have pulled them aside and said, Timmy, I know it's your dream, but you suck. I'm never going to be that person. I'm going to leave it for someone else and then say what a horrible person they are. I'll do it for you. Yeah, thank you. I, always, I knew I always knew you would. <laughs> Stab Abby and Matt on B105.